I'm Jeff Lenore for the Real News Network here in Baltimore. We're at Pennsylvania North Avenue, the site of the unrest one year ago after Freddie Gray was killed in police custody. We're here at a rally for Bernie Sanders. We're here to speak to the supporters and ask them how they feel about Sanders' chances of securing the nomination, whether they will support a Hillary Clinton Democratic nominee in November, and if they think it's important to continue his campaign beyond the Democratic convention in July. Mainstream media and mainstream pundits have all ruled out a chance of Bernie securing the nomination. What are your thoughts on that today? I believe that it's BS, and honestly, uh, the only BS that we need in politics, as you know, might, it's Bernie Sanders. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to say this right now. I don't care about mainstream media. I don't care about what they say. We are here. Why? Because we don't care what they say. So uh, regardless of what the mainstream media says, Bernie Sanders is going to be our next president as long as we keep doing the things that we're doing right now, just as this March will. You know. After he's nominated, we'll continue to work to get him the actual election. That's the primary objective first, is to get him president. We are also, at the same time we're doing that, we're always on the lookout and seeking candidates for the House of Representatives and new senators who uh, support the initiatives that Bernie is uh, pushing that will help all of the average Americans in this country who are struggling. Uh, you know, our economy's better, but our our average American is not. They're worse off. So even though the numbers look good on paper, you there are millions of people throughout the nation who are still struggling. I am out here today because I support Bernie Sanders. His values match my values, and I think his values will benefit the greatest number of people in America. If you don't mind, uh, this little picture right here. This is a picture of Bernie Sanders chained to an African-American in the 1960s, protesting against segregated housing in Chicago. I've been, you know, marching against the injustice here in Baltimore. And so I'm reminded that Bernie Sanders is one of the only ones that I know uh, that have marched with Dr. King back then. And his message still remains the same, um, not just for, not just for, you know, his, his message for all. So, so um, that's, that's why I, I'm leaning towards Bernie Sanders now, so because of this message. And um, so, you, so you'd say that your your campaign platform. Talk about the parallels, um, your, your demands, how how they're similar to Sanders on, on a local level versus a national level. Well, of course, uh, on a local level here, like he believes Black Lives Matter. I believe Black Lives Matter as well. And so, um, jobs uh, dealing with poverty. He wants to attack and combat the issues of poverty. And so, that are my same issues as well here in the Penn North area, especially. I want to combat these issues, and Bernie Sanders wanted to combat those issues. So, yeah, like I said, I'm leaning towards somebody that has the same message I have. My name is Gary Crum. Um, I'm actually running for city council in the 12th district. Um, I'm out here to support Bernie because I believe in his uh, values of what's, what the country needs, um, and also what Baltimore needs. Uh, we have to get away from the establishment here in Baltimore. We have to uh, have to put more uh, 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 energy and effort into our youth, and we can't keep giving billionaires tax credit breaks in our city and not uh, giving it to the youth. Um, it's, it's, this is not a moment; it's a movement of young people who wants change in the community, and that's what I'm bringing uh, when I'm. Why, and that's why I'm running for city council, and that's why I'm supporting Bernie. What, what kind of values you share with Bernie Sanders? You're obviously out here in support of his march. Yeah, I mean, I, I share a lot of values of Bernie Sanders as far as just economic equality, economic justice, um, grassroots democracy. Um, just uh, you know, and and one of the one of the issues that we have is that that a lot of people share values with Bernie, but at the point where we're getting to the point where you're, you're trying to choose not who the best candidate is, but who can beat Donald Trump. We're choosing unwinnability instead of who's the best person to represent us, and that's really the issue. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, you know, I'm hoping we can make that change. And, and Sanders would say that he's polling better against Trump than Hillary is. And uh, I believe him. And what is happening is that we keep giving all this money to downtown and to Fells Point and the urban communities in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, um, in Baltimore are not getting the, the, uh, the, the breaks that it needs. Uh, we're continuously closing down schools. We're continuously uh, uh, um, not having jobs uh, for kids coming out of high school. My message to Bernie is to keep going until the end, because that's what 
the young people need to see people to continue to fight no matter what. And would you vote for Hillary Clinton if she's the nominee, or would you consider not voting or voting for a third party? I would consider voting for Hillary Clinton because every vote counts. And if Bernie doesn't get the nomination, I would tell people to vote for Hillary because we need a Democrat in office. I'm one of those people that would like to try to convince Bernie to run as an independent. I think he has enough support that he could actually win this uh, between the disenfranchised Republicans, the independents, and those of us who, as I am, will not ever vote for Hillary. Uh, I've been a Democrat my whole life, and I realized that my party abandoned me, and so I owned the party, no loyalty. They no longer represent the voice of the people. Bernie's the only candidate who now is a true Democrat who really represents the voice of the people. So I will either probably write his name in or hope to see an alternative. Hillary Clinton does not match my values. I do not support Hillary Clinton for that reason. I think if you vote for someone who does not match your values, you are breaking democracy. I will vote Jill Stein should that happen, but that hasn't happened. We're not there yet. So vote for Bernie, you still have the chance. Would you support Hillary Clinton in November if she's a Democratic nominee? Well, unfortunately, if it comes down to Hillary Clinton being our nominee, I will put my weight and support behind her. Whatever has to be to stop Trump and his divisiveness, we have to stand behind Hillary Clinton. And would you support Hillary Clinton if she's a nominee in November? No. I just, uh, Hillary Clinton and I, we do not relate. That's really all there is to it. If Hillary is the nominee no. in November, I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton, point blank. I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. And I know there's 33 percent of Bernie supporters who aren't voting for Hillary Clinton. I mean, maybe down the line something else will change in my mind, but I'm a pretty stern person, so I doubt that I'll be voting for Hillary Clinton.